what is your desire what is your knowledge of God when I, all our church is no man in a branch now in our churches around eating the Bible I've read the Bible 47 times Genesis to Revelation every word 47 ushers members in the church three times five times back to back if there was something we knew in Islam it was knowledge then the church noise knowledge in Psalm 73 if you read verse 22 he said I was ignorant I was foolish I was like a beast before him nothing reduces a man to the class of animals like ignorance Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 the ox knows his owner the ass knows his master but my people have not known me in John 4 24 John 4 22 rather he said you worship what you know not we worship what we know for salvation is of the Jews in Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 my people are foolish they have not known me the knowledge of God in 1st Corinthians 10 1 Paul said I would not have you ignorant 1st Corinthians 12 1 concerning spiritual gifts I would not have you ignorant 2nd Corinthians 1 8 be not ignorant the biggest problem we have is the bankruptcy of knowledge in Proverbs 19 verse 2 that is so be without knowledge is not good in Proverbs 11 9 true knowledge shall the just is a just man but it takes knowledge to maximize deliverance what is your desire I didn't come to nine just for an impartation I came to nine for a re and re reorientation for people who are going to say father have mercy on me for seeking things I want to seek you have mercy on me for seeking things it's you I want to seek Elisha number two Eli now listen to this part because you may not like this part of the, of the gospel but I know for a man of God like Dr. Gumba I know what he believes we had a long chat and I know what he believes number two this glory that's about to hit the earth to maximize it you must have a judgmental mentality are you listening to what I'm saying a judgmental mentality you must have a dominion consciousness you don't pamper Satan you hammer him you don't manage him you damage him John the Baptist had a double portion of the anointing of Elijah hear this hear this hear this some years ago my message God loves everybody God wants to save everybody God God is a God of mercy you know I hate this die it doesn't sit well with me my wife had a baby 15 years ago as she gave birth I was excited I ran home to go and get some things when I got back I saw people telling me take heart God gives God takes that scripture didn't come from God it came from Job it wasn't Jesus that said it it was Job that said the Lord give it the Lord take it because Ecclesiastes 3 14 says whatsoever God does abide it forever nothing can be added nothing can be taken so I said no and they said take heart I was walking in what's going on they said take heart I saw my wife with stuff on her nose and she was covered clinically dead the baby good beautiful girl but she lost that excitement was gone I turned and I said I want to pray they stood by me and said you know God knows why at least there is something to hold on I said you know they say such is life you know there are some of these, these encouraging quotes that are very senseless have you heard some of them the downfall of a man it depends on where he's falling from the 
there are some falls you fall you crash so don't fall so i walked in there and i remember the principle of jesus praying for the dead is to avoid distraction so i said nurse out matron out i have my wife's hand i said i don't understand where are you going how what will i tell the world and that period will just witness manifestation of the power of god explosion you know people have a, are people african have a way of connecting things with things i said mother my, you better come back home because i can't explain i can't defend while i was talking the lord said shut up worship me as i began to worship my hands were still there i was still worshiping when i noticed her hands were moving were moving and she sneezed and came back when she came back the lord now said listen the lord now said listen to my, my emphasis the lord now said now judgment this came from somewhere listen sir you woke up and had a stroke it was not a coincidence it was an arrow you woke up and there's a pain in your chest it was an arrow don't let nobody lie to you don't let nobody play games on your mind it's an arrow am i communicating here the bible says it's a righteous thing for god to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you in fact in galatians 5 10 it was so serious that paul spoke pigeon I have confidence in you through the Lord that you be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear the judgment, whosoever he be. Whosoever! Raise your right hand of fire. Say in the name of Jesus. By the power of his glory. Every conspiracy against my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. take your seat. Take your seat. Ah, the Bible says, if they slap you on one cheek, turn the other side. He never said the other cheek. He said the other side. The other side can be a gun. Jesus was on the cross. This, this, I have three mandates. Number one, to raise up passionate lovers for God. Number two, to enforce judgment. Anywhere I preach, if I forget Otako, I don't forget Slotako. My wife said, my wife said, only some Sundays you don't do Otako. I said, but we kill people. We kill witches. I'm going to explain to you. I lost two of my brothers in one day. Same mother, same father. Because a, a witch told my mother that she would bury them. My mother said, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Your declaration should be on the platform of your connection. You can't do and Both of them, that we didn't see their bodies to bury. They were, the car was burnt. My mother as an ASP of police my mother retired as an assistant commissioner as an ASP of police somebody threatened my mom ma my mom was mad picking paper beautiful woman I remember as a young child that I was crying I said God if you ever give me power my uncle said shut up you don't know who attacked your mother may be here now my heart was boiling but there was no power was boiling wickedness is real Elisha was walking one day and 42 children began to mock him I asked God a question why would you allow a man of God release sheep bears on children and the Lord told me who told you they were children they were adults behaving like children I said I don't understand and God said 42 children can't maintain a file without a leader 42 children don't know what a bald head is and the lord began to analyze it for me elisha had a, a mentality of judgment there are so many of you there are certain wickedness you have allowed in your life thinking is the will of god there are certain 
little manifestations of hell. Hey, my God, there is somebody under the sound of my voice. All the years that the caterpillar, that the locusts and the perma worm ate, God is about to restore. Somebody shout judgment. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Take your seat. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. In the year 2006, the year what? Say it louder. I finished preaching. When I finished preaching, I was tired. I walked to the office. I greeted better than farewell. Saturday night. Normally, what we do, we begin our services very early. We have what we call School of the Spirit. Then we we'll go into the main service. Some minutes to five, I got a call. Say, run to church now. I said, why? He says, somebody landed. There's no airport in the church premise. Somebody landed. I said, what landed? So I said, okay. A pastor was living in my house, so I told him to follow me. We got to church. And we saw a man with his hand inside a pot where it was tied with white and some chalks. Where are you from? They say it came through astral projection. So I was looking at him. By this time, some women that were sweeping the church had covered me. I said, what? Daddy, run. I said, to where? They say, just run. So I said, bring him to the office. They said, no, 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 run. They were guarding me. I sat in the office. So I told the other pastor with me. I said, go and bring that man. He said, sir. I said, go and... He says, I should be. Both of us were there just now. <laughs> Me, I'm just following you. <laughs> sir, sir, no, no, I'm not afraid. No, I'm not afraid. But, sir, this thing should be when the man land. He saw us. We passed. He's on his own. So let's not go and look for what's not looking for us. <laughs> I said go and bring him he wouldn't so i came downstairs and i looked at the man and the man said johnson suleiman i said yes he said i came through astral projection i came from a court he mentioned the name and he said we have sent people we have sent this we have sent that so we are wondering what is resisting we check in our mirror we don't know so i came to find out I said, sir, there's a problem. Uh, it's easier to project here. But to live. <laughs> Me that I'm looking for trouble. You, you brought trouble to my house. Ah. I said, sir, it's easy to come, but to go. Fire! <laughs> it began to turn the whole place upside down. People are gathering inside service. I see <laughs> somebody else should preach. I'm having a good time here. Fire! And he opened his mouth and began to confess. When he confessed, the first name he mentioned was an elder in church. I'm preaching today and tomorrow morning, right? Anything I hear, I will say it to. what I have seen an elder 
and there's something that you must understand if you, those of you are pastors when people are too close to you you don't pick messages about them so for you to for you to for you to be able to live in the spirit you must mentally dissociate people from you mentally mentally disconnect there's no one that should be too close mentally you must dissociate them that is the only way god can open your eyes to see who they really are you must be extra because there are some things heaven will not show you well until you make inquiry let, let me tell you okay let me show you something god said god said to samuel go to the house of jesse the bethlehemite name location that was depth but yet somewhere got there confused looking for david the same god that mentioned jesse could mention david there are certain messages that can be gotten until you probe and inquire god releases most time can be coded you have to probe I'm talking of judgment you must have that judgmental mentality preaching for a church in worry and about to go preach there I saw a vision in the car in the plane I saw a tree rice apples bottled water every time the Lord moved the rice to a corner I saw white substance as what is this is a poison 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 Present. Okay. Now I felt when I get to the meeting, the Lord is going to talk to me about somebody who was present. So I thought. So I said, okay, that's one. That's a good message. And when I got to the location, they said I have to come first to the pastor's house. As I went there, they brought me food, same plates, same apple, same bottled water. I started laughing. I said, woman of God, carry your poison. Carry your poison. Woman of God, carry your poison. Can I shock you? I would be stupid to still preach there. By that action, they have shared grace. I carried my traveling back. That's how brutal the world has become. Every animal has got what is called in science a defense mechanism. When you touch a snail, it goes in. You touch a tortoise, it goes in. You touch a serpent, it comes for you. That thing you see the serpent does when he raises up his head is called a defense mechanism. Now, when you touch a porcupine, you know what it does? It throws subs at you. Every believer, judgment is your defense mechanism. Now, now hear me. He said, when thy judgments are in all the earth, the inhabitants of the earth will learn righteousness. There are some people that can't live right until they are judged. There are some things that cannot be straightened until they are judged. One day, a man called Nebuchadnezzar tried to take the place of God. And the decree was made by the watchers. They said, let the heart of a man be taken from him and the heart of an animal be given. Let his hand come to his feet and his feet to his hand. And the Bible says he became an animal. I'm sure the wife went there that morning. Open the door, honey. Good morning. The next thing she heard was she said no this is not normal she closed the door she called the son go and check your father and the son said that the good money the next thing he heard was Meh. and they opened the door and the man became the minister of agriculture for seven years he went into the wilderness under the judgment of god god is a god of judgment the bible said the lord 
killeth and the Lord maketh alive. In Psalm 136, it says, He let them keep the wilderness, for his mercies endureth forever. He fed them by day and by night, for his mercies endureth forever. He was a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire, for his mercies endureth forever. He killed their firstborn, for his mercies endureth forever. So when God shows judgment to the wicked, it is communicating mercy to the saint. When God shows judgment to the wicked, it is communicating righteousness to the saint. When God shows judgment to the wicked, it is communicating preservation. Raise your right hand. Anything taken from you since you were born, wherever it was taken to, I retrieve it and I release it back to you. We stand as a team. Don't hold anybody. Leave them. Stretch your hand, ushers. Are you not tired of holding people? Stretch your hand here. Yeah, forget about that. We stand as a team. Anything taken from you from that. We retrieve it and we release it to your hand. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hear me? We're going to, first, we're going to, we're going to pray for a restoration. If you have, if you have glasses on, take it off. Take your glasses off. Just keep it, keep it, keep it. We're going to pray for a restoration. Ushers, don't worry. Leave people for now and pray. All right? P pray. Leave them. Pray. When it's time for that, you do that. Just pray. Everybody pray. Everybody. Inside or outside. We're going to pray for a restoration of passion. Whatever has dwindled your love, a response. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray. As I pray. I receive. I receive a restoration. A restoration of passion for God. Passion of passion for God. Passion for God. Passion for God. Passion for God. Put your mouth and hand it up. There's emergency outside. They have a mining station. Okay. There is outside. Okay. okay. Now, those are the emergency session. When I, as we are taking these prayers, whatever it is, is going to go. 
whatever it is you are blind you are deaf don't wait for prayer as we are taking these prayers miracles will break forth amen, amen. amen. one more prayer we're going to pray ready for that are you ready just touch it gently 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 Are you ready for judgment? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. My father, my father. My father, my father. father, father, father. As I pray. pray. Every arrow of wickedness. Every arrow of of wickedness. wickedness. Arrow of manipulation. Arrow of manipulation. Destiny contention. Destiny contention. In my life. In my life. Expire. 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 Expire.